In this video, I'll show you how to uh, do the rolling beta as we did in class. So let me go into Yahoo Finance and in the quote lookup, let's type in a stock. Let's try Walmart. WMT is their ticker. So type in the ticker for the company and then click on the company. It will bring up a page, um, a summary page on Walmart. And on that summary page, there's a link that says history. And so it may take a while sometimes to come over. And so over on the far side here, it says historical data. We'll click on that. We'll come down. And you have a button that allows you to uh, change the dates. So on the dates, click on that and click max. Sometimes it takes a while. There it goes. We can go back to 1972. And then Let's, let's do monthly. You can do monthly or weekly. We'll do monthly. And then, so you've got the date back to 1972, and it's monthly. So make sure you hit the apply button. When you hit the apply button, it should update the data back to 1972. My computer's very slow right now, but. <clears throat> and so now we have the data back to 1972, so we can just hit the download button. And it should bring up a file. <clears throat> an Excel file, so you can click on that and open it up in Excel. And it will bring you um, the opening, the high, the low, the close. And <clears throat> the adjusted close, so you might expand out the dates so you can see them. And then we want to delete everything but the adjusted close so because we want to make sure we have the dividend adjustment in there. Get rid of the volume. I'm going to change B1 to say Walmart. And so I've now got Walmart back to 8172. So if you go back to um, Yahoo Finance and click on Yahoo Finance, we'll bring up a list of indices so you want to click on the S&P 500 should be the, the first indice the top left click on that and we'll do the exact same thing here we'll click on historical data and we want historical prices and we want monthly and so what we want to do is go back to the date we have for Walmart remember for Walmart that we have it back to 8172 so we'll do the same thing for Walmart and for the S&P 500. I'll go back to 8172. I usually do it from the end. So if I'm doing 872, I'll do 7 slash 31 slash 1972. And then click done. And then again, I want to make sure I do monthly. And then apply. And it should update that data. And when it updates, then you can download it. And you'll get a file for, for the S&P 500. Hopefully this worked back to 872. It didn't work, so I, I didn't hit the button. I hit the button too fast. I can get rid of that one. So we hit apply and then we download the data. Okay, so <clears throat> so we hit download the data <clears throat> and bring in the S&P 500 back to 872.
get rid of everything but the adjusted close although for the index C it doesn't matter if it's closed or adjusted close because there are no dividends I'm going to copy this entire thing over just put your cursor in A2 hit your shift control key and hit your down arrow and right arrow then do control C then go back to Walmart and I'll enter that just so I can make sure the dates really are all lined up I can hit my end key in the down arrow and see that everything's lined up so that looks good so I can get rid of the the dates here and I can put the S&P 500 I use SPX for that I'm gonna change my I'm gonna do the shift control left and right and change this to use the comma function and now I want to do holding period returns so I'm going to do HPR for Walmart and HPR for the SPX. The holding period return is just like we did in class. You do ending value minus beginning value divided by beginning value. And we don't have to adjust for dividends because that's what the adjusted price already does. So there we get the percentage change. I'm going to change it to percent with two decimals. You can now copy that over. And then to copy it down, you just hit the little square there. And that gives you the, the monthly returns for, for Walmart and the S&P 500. Now we're going to do the rolling beta. I want to do three years. So I'm going to put a one next to the first return. Do plus that, plus one. So that adds down. I'm then going to copy that down. Hit my shift key. Copy it down about 30, 37, 36 rows. Go down to the bottom of that. Find 36. You can then do control shift up. Get rid of all the numbers above that. Delete everything below it. And that's the 36 months. So then we're going to use the function equals slope. Equals slope will come over. Hit the control shift arrow up. To get Walmart, hit comma, come over, control shift, arrow up to get Walmart. I mean, the S&P 500, hit enter. And there's your beta for that first three-year period. You can copy this all the way down. And then we're going to, right above that, in the next column over, put 0 0.5, 0 0.1, and 0.9. And then we're going to do equal percentile. And we'll this entire section hit your F4 key to lock that in although mine my F4 key doesn't work and then do comma and go up to the 0.5 so I'm going to have to manually edit this so I want the F to be locked in hit enter I can do control C shift and copy that over. I'm going to hit the comma again. I'm going to change these to percent so I know what they are. And so there's my my median 93, my 10%. 10% of time Walmart was below 0.2. 10% of time was above 1.39. I'm going to now use the equal to say equal that and copy that over because we want that to be the same number all the way down. I can now copy that all the way down. So now I have a rolling beta. I got one number that's the 50 percentile, the median. I got one number that's the 10 percentile, one number that's the 90th percentile. I can now go to the rolling, rolling number, hit control, shift, down, and right arrow. Go up to the insert, and insert a graph. Hit the graph. It will create the graph for me. I'm then going to right click on the graph and do select data and I'm going to edit on the dates I'm going to go to the top of my range and go over to the dates and do control shift down hit enter and that gives me my dates say OK and I'm now going to right click on this whole thing and I'm going to move it to a separate sheet And I'm going to click on the x-axis and format axis. And I'm going to do two things when I format the axis. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change labels. 
to be low. And the next thing I do is click on number. And on number, I'm going to change it to YYYY. And add that. I can click off of that. And I now have my axis. I'm going to hit the home key, hit the bold, and make my dates a little bit larger so I can see them. Same thing for my beta, hit the bold, a little bit larger so I can see that. Just give it a title. So Walmart rolling three year beta. I'm going to bold and italicize that and make that much larger so I can see it. And then one last thing, I'm going to right click and select data. And I'm going to edit the series. The first series is the actual rolling three year beta. So give it a name. The second one is the median. So give that a name. The next one is the tenth percentile. And the last one is the ninetieth percentile. And say OK. And I'm going to click on that and move it up to a better place and expand it so it's a little bit larger. And there. So now we have the beta for our company, um, the title, and the rolling beta. So that's how you create the rolling three year beta. Thank you.